In this example, we want to determine uh, which value of the constant c is the function that's given here continuous on the on the whole real line. In other words, continuous on from minus infinity to infinity. Okay. So looking at this function, okay, this is a piecewise function. So um, each of these, okay, both of these are polynomials. Okay, so this is continuous. Okay, this is continuous on its respective uh, interval. Okay, and this is also continuous. Okay, uh, for that given uh, restricted domain. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to uh, see what's happening, right? Or we need to determine, we need to find C that makes this continuous over the entire interval, entire real line. Okay, so we can do that by using the limit. Okay, so we're going to have the, okay, so we want to make sure that the left and right hand limits are equal uh, as x approaches 3. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 3, okay, let's look at the left side. Okay, um, so when x is approaching 3 from the left, okay, we're going to use, all right, we're going to use this one. Okay, because this is for x less than 3. Okay, so we're going to have the limit of cx squared plus 2x as x approaches 3 from the left. Okay, so evaluating this, we're going to get uh, c times 3 squared plus 2 times 3. So we end up getting 9c plus 6. Okay. So now let's look at the the right-handed limit. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 3 from the right side. Okay, so as x is approaching 3 from the right side, that means x is greater than 3. Okay, so we want to look at this part. So we're going to have the limit of x cubed minus cx as x approaches 3 from the right side. Okay, so Evaluating this, okay, letting x, uh, letting x be equal to 3, we're going to get 3 cubed minus 3c. So this is going to give us 27 minus 3c. Okay. So in order for this function to be continuous, right, the, the left and right hand limit have to be equal. Okay, so we're going to set these two expressions equal to each other, and that's how we're going to solve for c. Okay. Okay, so we're going to set both of these, okay, equal to each other. So we have 9c plus 6 equals to 27 minus 3c. So this, by setting the left and right hand limits equal together, right, this will allow us to find the c uh, that makes these two expressions equal to each other. Okay, so this is a simple equation that we can solve. So really this is uh, going to be 12c equals to uh, 21. So therefore c is going to be 21 over 12. Okay. So that is our solution. That is the constant, right? That's the constant that we... Right. That is the C value that we need that makes this function continuous on the entire real interval. Okay.